All right, y'all, welcome back to another video here on the John Doc YouTube channel. Before we get started in today's video, gotta let you know, Turbo Ranger giveaway. We got like a week and a half left, and then the giveaway is done, and I'm going to give it to someone. All you guys have to do to enter is go down to lsnasty.com and check out what we got on the website and buy something. Every item counts as an entry. I got these badass, bad apple, eight two deck nasty shirts, limited edition. They're here until I've been saying Friday, but we'll, we'll, we'll do it Saturday because I like you guys. Got a couple complaints on shipping. For some of my stuff, my shipping wasn't calculating correctly and some of the smaller items are a little bit high. So I got that figured out. So I do read the comments. I do hear what you guys are saying and I want to make it the best experience. Purchasing experience, buying experience, and get the best, highest quality item as possible. So. The Bad Apple shirts are double entries right now, so every uh, one shirt counts as two entries, so you can get the Bad Apple shirts there on the website, and all the other shirts are single entries, and all the other hats are single entries as well. So go down and get that stuff while you can. Like I said, the Bad Apple shirts will be around until Saturday. I'm standing here in the Black Sheep room. As you can see, we got the door right here, and what happened was I got cursed by the look of good paint. As you guys can see, this door right here looks just like... It looks like glass, so the car is pretty beat up. The car is off getting paint correction done to it right now, so this door here already had it done. Johnny came by and knocked it out, and it looks absolutely amazing, and it is like the best color black I have ever seen. It literally looks like someone just painted on. So that's where the black sheep is, so I got this room all to myself right now, and what I'm gonna talk to you guys about is the title and the thumbnail of the salted chicken here is getting the A1 Primo treatment. What I mean by that is when I started this build, I was like, I'm going to show everyone at home what it's like to build a race car from the ground up, start to finish. So I went out and bought this 99 Trans Am at 130,000 miles on it, and I was going to do like the more bolt-on style, uh, kind of like what the Boosted Rooster was, and I did the Boosted Rooster stuff, and it was fun. And I think that what I my vision for what the Salted Chicken would be would be like a, a 490 car, and I thought that'd be like, I thought that was all I wanted until I had the Boosted Rooster, and I was like, man... We need to do more, we need to do better. And at that point in time, I said to myself, I'm going to go down the list and buy every part that is like just top of the line, like dream, like no hole, not holding back. I'm doing doing it right once. A bunch of carbon fiber, a bunch of docal tubing, all this lightweight stuff, the baddest rear end, like not the baddest, but in my opinion, I'm, they make like all billet floaters and, and the baddest for my application. And I'm just going down every single part. I'm taking my time and I'm getting what I need. I've been building the car for a year and a half now. It's at the chassis shop. It's getting the chassis made. Uh, I got a bunch of really good parts. TCAM built probably one of the best, I, I can tell you right now, the baddest stock block motor in history. TCAM built it. It's got a set of dart heads on there. TND rockers, MGP rods, uh, Dragon Slayer crank. I mean, it's just a, it's the baddest stock block motor in the world ever created. The chassis, Jason at the Brazil Performance Fabrication is going to do the absolute gnarliest chassis ever. I was going to settle for the wheels, and I didn't. I got some 15 by 14 weld alphas. I mean, they're absolutely badass. So then I got all my Quartermax stuff. So I got like the Extreme, the Pro Extreme Four Link Kit. I mean, I got the Pro Extreme Wishbone. I got everything is just like the baddest that you can get. And uh, I didn't stop there. I kept going, and it is financially draining. I will never financially recover from this. Oh my God. I am never gonna financially recover from this. But, I'm gonna do it one time. Build a race car from the ground up. And that's what I'm doing, and I just wanna do it right, and I'm literally just building my dream car, and you guys are able to watch. I've become so attached to this car, and I have this vision, and it's crazy when reality is starting to mirror like your dream, and your dreams become reality. It's just like a surreal feeling. Like this, all this is a dream, and I now live it. And this other part of it, you know, with having this, you know, car built from the ground up with like all my best friends and like all these companies that we deal with, like TCAM and BPF and Dieter's Custom Finishing, like they're more than just companies, like they're like family. Like I talk to them all the time. We are closer than just like a customer. And it's crazy the journey. Motion Raceworks and Doug and all the guys there, all the guys from DART, T and D, I mean it, the journey that this car, this build, this process takes you on is so much more than just building the car. And it's crazy. I'm so happy and I'm not going to stop until it's done right. So I placed another order with Quartermax. I got like all of the rear suspension components and now this is like all the little trinket stuff. So we got the dual parachute mount kit because we're going to run dual air launchers. Uh, I got, what's this? 
God, you could hear Phil in the background. All right, we got this window screw kit. So as you can see here, it's a lot more of the small little trinket stuff. Uh, we got the door stop kit. You guys see this, we run this only on the passenger door of the black sheep, but it's good to have so it can't swing out and hit the body. We got, this is something I think is pretty cool here. This is a interior door, door handle, carbon fiber kit. So carbon fiber door handles, looks pretty sweet. This is a Pro Series wing support kit. So for the wings, for the, the struts for the wings. We got the front end body mount kit. So this is where we're gonna mount everything on there. Got a fi uh, carbon fiber, not fiber guys, carbon fiber front end. Uh, here we go, we got adjustable front end mounts. Another interior carbon fiber door handle kit. These are our carbon window bezels. Pro Series door hinge kit to hang the doors, and then we got the stuff to like pin the carbon fiber. You got all the other stuff for the front end, and then we got the window frame kit. So, a lot of stuff here from Quarter Max. These are, like I said, I got most of like the big stuff last time, and then I got this. So, I'm looking at probably I probably got five grand tied up in the Quarter Max stuff. And then if we go over here, this is probably one of the most exciting things that I've purchased to date, just because to me it's it's kind of a big deal. I know to other people they don't really care. <clears throat> Let me set the camera down, we'll get this out. If you guys can tell and know what Reed is, you'll know what this thing is. This. Is a Reed 400 case. This thing right here hurts. It hurts to buy. Just this by itself, this case with no tail housing, it's like 1800 bucks. This guy right here is like another 200, and I didn't even get a bell housing with it. So all said and done, you're I mean you're in like 22, 2300 dollars just for a case. The reason why this was important, I run a stock case in the black sheep. It's a Mickey transmission. It came with the car. The transmission itself, it's a two-speed 400. That's what this is going to be, uh, or a three-speed. I think I'm leaning more towards two-speed just so I can have interchangeable parts. But the case is very important to have an SFI case. The black sheep, it's got metal around it. It is on a stock case. The salted chicken is going to have exposed transmission. So I'm going to be sitting right next to this. My leg's going to be right here. This case is super thick. It's SFI approved. It is well worth every penny in safety to buy this. You guys know I am very big on safety. Uh, running an alcohol car, it's extremely important to wear all your safety gear, have proper harnesses, have a good case on the transmission. It's just, to me, it's not worth it to save. I mean, just think about this. You go down track, that thing explodes and it takes your leg off over $2,000. Is your leg, my leg worth way more than two grand. I mean, I'm not that fast at running, but I'd say it's well, well over $2,000. So I just bought bite the bullet and got the case and I'm super happy with it. We're gonna take this down to Cameron Converters and Transmission Services. Byron is going to get me squared away with a badass bolt together converter and they're gonna build this into a two speed 400. And then we'll, we'll really have everything for the car. I got all my Holly stuff. Uh, I got the entire Holly kit. I made a video on that a while back. I got everything. I got uh, the MSD 600. I got the EGTs. I got a Holly Dominator. Uh, I got additional injector driver boxes. I mean, I literally got it all to have. I mean, I think I'm going to work with Devin, uh, HCR Innovations, and he is going to help me with wiring on that car. I got the Race Pack Smart Wire Kit. I mean, it is an absolute trick setup that Holly hooked me up with. And got the whole drive line will be done. T-Cam put a badass motor together. Jason's gonna do the turbo kit and chassis and then we'll be ready to rock. I got a set of bodies from Mensur. I'm doing something trick here with these Mensurs. We run the same shocks as on the Black Sheep so we'll have all that big big stretch in the back and I'm super excited and can't wait for it. It seriously is a dream build and I've been trying to research and get all the parts I need and make sure I'm doing everything right and I don't even know what else to say. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm hyped. I'm ready to see it all come together. I'm going to be running all this other quarter match stuff down to Jason. I'm going to take all the carbon fiber body panels down to Jason. And then uh, it's going to be in Jason's hands to uh, get everything knocked out and put together. And 
I think it's going to be absolutely badass. Once he starts doing the fab work on it, uh, building the chassis, putting everything, tying everything together, building the turbo kit, it's going to be insane, and I'm going to be able to show you guys. So, um, for those of you that are always asking for salted chicken updates, I appreciate you guys being patient, and I can't, I can't express enough how excited I am for this build, and I can't express how impatient I am of a person, but I know this stuff takes time. I'm like a year and a half in, and I understand it takes time, and I'm just trusting the process. So I'm, I'm buying all the badass stuff. I know it's expensive, but I'm hoping it all pays off. And it's not something that you just go and you buy the baddest stuff ever and your car will go fast. I'm not saying that. But we have a great team and a bunch of really smart people on our teams and the different companies we work with that should make it go fast. And having these, these new badass parts should help. And that's the plan. I'm trying to go the fastest. I'm trying to be the lightest. I'm trying to look the best. I'm trying not to go broke, but that's a very uh, tough balancing act. So. I'm super excited. This means so much for me to get. I've literally been talking about buying one of these for six months. I never pulled the trigger. And the other day, I walk in there and I pull the trigger. So it's here. We're waiting on a bell housing. We run this down to Byron at Cameron Converters. We'll be good to go. So I'm going to box this stuff all back up. It should be good.